Guys, it's your girl Yolisa coming to you live and direct from New York City. We're going to talk about motivation today. I'm a singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, and living my dream is the scariest and funnest experience I've ever had. And when I find myself lacking motivation, it's usually because I have gone to this place I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I can't, I'm not ready. And I'm pretty sure being an entrepreneur, being a dreamer yourself, you understand what I'm talking about. And I'm here to say that your feelings don't matter whether you feel good enough or you don't feel good enough is irrelevant. Nobody freaking cares. All they care about is are you producing results? So here are my three ways that I make sure that I'm consistently producing results. And this is gonna answer the question of how do you stay motivated that so many of you ask me every single day. So number one, I keep myself surrounded with people who do not buy into the BS that I create and that I buy into all the time. I'm the first person to throw myself under the bus. I'm the first person to insist that I'm not good enough or that I am not ready or etc etc and I have people who I can call up at least two to three people who I can call up and say I don't feel good enough right now and what they say is okay and you're your Lisa Bam and you're gonna get on that stage and you're gonna perform because that's what you're born to do and so I listen to them and then I just do what they say I believe them and I trust them and what that's resulted in is me being able to launch a website, launch a private blog for my newsletter list, send emails out every two weeks, create new music every single week, release music every single week, be consistent. And I encourage you to take that on and stop listening to people who buy into your BS. Number two, I have stopped comparing my chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. Where Beyonce is, is not where I'm at. She's been working for decades and I have been working for a few years. So right now, what my focus is, is knowing my goal, knowing where I wanna go, and at the same time, letting go and doing things right now that my future self will thank me for. So being on time to my studio sessions, making videos to connect with my people, being honest, being real, writing every day, that's what I do right now, and my future self will thank me for it. And lastly, I have stopped trying to please everybody. Everybody is not going to like me. Everybody can have something to say. It's going to be either good or bad. And I've learned to really make my art so that I am proud of it. In other words, I make music that I want to hear. And I know that if I feel really good about it, the people who can relate to me and who can relate to the message will also feel really good about it. So those are my three tips, guys. Make sure that you rewind and listen. I said surround yourself with people who don't buy into your BS. Number two, stop comparing your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. And number three, stop trying to please everybody. So make sure you head over to yolisabam.com, sign up to the mailing list, download the music, and get access to the private Team Bam blog for more exclusive content that I don't share with anybody else. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. I love you. I can't wait to talk to you soon. 